Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to your favorite show on the internet, Bro Duder. In today's episode, we discussed video games, mostly. Mostly about Escape from Tarkov, the tactical shooter taking the internet by storm. A hardcore tactical looter, I wouldn't say looter shooter, but you, you collect loot and all kinds of shit like that. We talked a lot about, uh, oh no, we didn't talk about, we answered questions from the Barstool Sports Answer the Internet card game, which was hilarious, as it always is. So we hope you guys enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it. With that said, enjoy. Okay, so so moving on, Tyler. Since uh, you've been doing nothing but playing video games, I heard you. Uh, Excuse me. You, <laughs> you finally, you finally caved. You finally gave in, and you got Escape from Tarkov. I did. <laughs> Twice. Now, Tyler, tell me, please. I'm itching for. It. Give me your review. Your first what? Uh, week. Of Tarkov? Yeah, first little over a week now. Give me your first week review of Tarkov. The, okay. The highs, the lows, the potential, blah, blah, blah. All right, all right. So the first day that I played it, I remember sending a group Wait. text to everyone that was going to be on. I okay. said, I was like, I don't want to fucking learn anything in Tarkov right now. I'm just trying to blow some shit up and <laughs> battlefield. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 real quick. I don't think we, we in the last episode, we explained it, but real, just real quick. Escape from Tarkov is like a hardcore military first person shooter sim. It's it, and when I say that is you don't you don't go in with your guns cocked and loaded and fucking run around and just shoot everything. You can. <laughs> it's like a military sim, honestly. It's military, you get it's like a lot of like all right, we've got to be tactical and strategy and there's a lot of sound whoring and and what that means is you got to listen for a lot of footsteps and shit mm-hmm. like that. All that stuff really technical. You could put attachments on top of your attachments on scopes and everything. And when you get sh- in a firefight, someone sh- shoots you and your arm your arm could get blacked out. <laughs> if you don't bandage it, if you don't heal it, you, whatever. If you aim down sights, your arm's gonna be shaking. So your arm—it's realistic to, to that point. So it's not really a game you can just. I want to blow some steam for like thirty minutes, get in there. No, you gotta. <laughs> not a casual game. Not, not a, a casual not game casual at, all. at all. And with that said, Tyler, please continue. Okay. So when I first bought the game, I before I played it, I prefaced saying I don't want to fucking learn anything right now. I'm just trying to. I was tired. I was. I just wanted to fucking blow shit up and play like Call of Duty or Battlefield or. A casual game because I, I just wanted to be a casual peasant for that day because <laughs> i knew I, it was going to be a bitch to learn this game i've seen videos i i knew it was going to be uh, a big brain game as one of our friends would say or a, <laughs> Smooth, or yeah, a wrinkled yeah wrinkled brain yeah you it requires a lot of learning it's a high skill cap game you know it's not like call of duty you play one call of duty you can play them all you can load in fucking all right this is the map all right cool fucking blow people up throw nades they're all the same kind of a thing. You go in this game for the first time and it's a lot to fucking learn, you know? You you have an inventory system. It's If you ever played any MMORPG, it's basically like World of Warcraft meets uh, like PUBG or something like that. That's how I would classify it. And it's not really a battle royale and it's not really an MMO, but there's a lot of similar characteristics that uh, the game combines from both of those genres because you have like an inventory system, like a stash. You have all your items in there. There's like 800 different types of ammo. You have to eat food like an MMORPG. You have to like eat cheese and fucking like canned <laughs> juices eat and cheese. cheese. No, <laughs> you're confusing the 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 medical. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but there's a medical item that looks like a piece of craft cheese. Oh, okay. You just Whatever. call it cheese. <laughs> Well, you do have to eat oh, food. Oh, wait, you actually thought you were eating cheese to heal? No, I'm just... <laughs> there's fucking, like, juices and stuff like that. So there is food in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many different items. But you basically go into Tarkov, and there's a few different maps you can go into. It's an, it's like an open-world-sized map, almost. Mm-hmm. And it puts you in this map with other players 
in different locations of the map. And then there's also NPCs in the map called scabs. And your your whole goal is to get in and get loot and then escape from Tarkov. Extract. There's different extraction points Ooh. you go to. And when you go there, you get out of the map, you take your gear. If you don't do that, if you get killed, someone else could take your gear and you're not going to leave there with anything. So... You want to unless you insure it. If you insure your gear, yes. So there's, oh, there's little, so many variables. In there this is game. a lot of variables, but uh, upon playing it at first, I already knew I wasn't going to like it. That's why I, it was a bad weekend to play it that first time. <laughs> Wait, you bought it knowing you're not going to? like No, I it. knew I wasn't going to like it that specific weekend. I was <laughs> not fucking in the mood to play a hardcore military simulator. <laughs> fucking, oh my arms broken, my leg broken. <laughs> fucking, you're, when you get shot in the head or the stomach, your screen starts pulsating like black and shit until you finally die. <laughs> and uh, your teammates don't have player icons over them, so you don't know who your teammates are. I mean, you obviously know, but if you venture too far off, you're going to have to be like, hey, is that you over there by the bush and shit? You know, like, <laughs> wait, all right, squat up and down real quick. Okay, that's you. You know, like, I wasn't in the mood for that. And uh, I didn't like it at first, but... Um, upon playing it again we played it with five people too playing that game with five people so you have four other people next to you and you have no indication of them being your teammates so and then you go into a warehouse with loot and it's like all right all the loot's fucking gone you know that game i'll say is a <laughs> is a total fucking shit show with five people it's much more enjoyable with like two people three people max in my opinion mm -hmm. I agree. um so Upon playing it again, after that first time I played it, with two people, three people, it was much more enjoyable, much more fun. We got into a couple firefights. Uh, but uh, I enjoy the game. I think it's very fun, and it's a game I'm going to continue playing. Wow. But uh, for if you're going to have a group of like four or more go in, I would just play Rainbow or um, Battlefield or something like that, something a little bit more casual than that game. In in my opinion, so so are you a fan of the the stash and inventory system and the menu? Uh, I could use a little bit less immersion and a little give, bit less realism <laughs> right now. But give me, uh, give me a review of like the 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 actual like uh, the gameplay as far as getting into the game and everything. You mean I like mean, get like bef like getting all your guns ready and all that and everything? Shit, yeah, could I could deal with. Or? Yeah, I could deal with a little bit less fucking items. There's like 800 different fucking ammo types. There's fucking 800 different attachments for your guns. Uh, there's a little bit too much inventory management. I'm not a fan of that. But the actual gameplay makes it worth it. Mm -hmm. So uh, the actual gameplay is amazing. It's great. The graphics are good. The guns handle, like, except for some of the guns have way too much goddamn recoil. But uh, the aiming, the shooting the movement mechanics, all of that's really good. So it makes that inventory management worth it. Um, I'm not a fan of sitting there and literally loading bullets into clips and fucking like, okay, let me make sure I have enough health packs. And a diehard, a diehard Tarkov player would be sitting here and, oh, you see, the thing is, once you get more ammo types and once you get a bigger stash, you didn't buy the ultimate deluxe $180 <laughs> edition. So that means you're going to have to load ammo in slower there's a little bit too much. So if you're a casual like gamer coming from Call of Duty or Battlefield, this game is going to be like fucking culture shock to you. It's going to be like, yeah. what the fuck is going on here? You slow it down a little. Yeah. I mean, I, so, I played PUBG. I've played other games that are similar with a little bit less detail. You know, PUBG, you don't have to literally fucking load ammo into clips. You don't have to like prepare your loadout before you go in because you spawn with nothing, obviously. So do you have a, a recommendation or a review number? Um, so far I would give the, like the actual gameplay out of 10, I would say like a solid 8.3, 8. something like that. Oh, that's high for a lot of draw. The gameplay is really good. The inventory management, I would give like a four. Okay. So it's terrible. So eight for I don't gameplay, like it. Four for the inventory. So that yeah. brings it down to about a six. That sound fair? Mm. Overall for the whole game, six. Uh, it or do it doesn't higher? sound fair just because the gameplay is really good. So, it's just the inventory management is just a fucking nightmare. It's really not. You know what's funny? It's not streamlined at all. You know what's funny? One of the the top art Tarkov streamers named Veritas, uh, uh, I heard him once say he had that same criticism about Tarkov. Like mm -hmm. I, 
I could do with less inventory, menus and clicking and all that stuff and just get in the damn game. Yeah, it's like, oh, if you want to get in the damn game, you have to do a scav run, quote unquote, which is basically uh, you're a character with a predetermined loadout. You don't get to choose a loadout. Everything You have everything when you spawn a gun, bullets, all that shit. But it's usually very low grade shit from what I've uh, from what I've seen. And basically with a scav run, you're just you're going in and maybe you're doing some quests or something like that and you just want to kind of get in and maybe get into a fight. But if you get into a fight with uh, somebody who's on their main character, their PMC, you're probably going to get fucked because they have way better gear than you. So that that convenience of being able to go in with that lower gear you're sacrificing that gear so you, chances are you're probably going to get killed from what i've gathered but uh yeah it definitely can be frustrating way too much inventory management we've sat there for like literally 20 <laughs> minutes before going into a game hang on i'm getting this ready hang on i'm getting that ready you just don't understand the game you gotta do this it's like dude i really don't want to spend 20 fucking minutes waiting for someone else to get out of a match waiting for them okay i got out of the match now uh, i've got to unload all my fucking loot yeah. and get ready again I, you know it's like I, fuck dude there's so much down i've never played a game with so much fucking downtime yeah i i definitely understand where you're coming from i mean uh i personally do enjoy the inventory like i'm probably i like the gameplay of course yeah, but if you're playing by yourself then that's fine yeah and yeah, then, uh, yeah if someone else is waiting on you then it's also frustrating because like god i want to Im organize the inventory but you guys are waiting all right let's just fucking go yeah Be uh, only because when you have a full inventory if you make it out for that run, your problem is going to be like, fuck, now I got to figure out how to put all my shit in. <laughs> exactly. When you're so, playing with like two or three other people, everyone's doing that. There's a lot of fucking downtime, and I don't really care for that. And then that's where some of our friends will say, well, you got to buy the $180 <laughs> deal. <laughs> 185 <laughs> I don't know how much it is. I think we're just uh, bumping that price up yeah. for the memes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so so what kind of person, what kind of player would you recommend it to? Anyone that's ever played PUBG, mm. um, anyone that's played... Um, but it's not a battle royale. It's kind of like an MMO kind of... It's kind of like an MMO, yeah. Anyone that's played any MMO, honestly, if you're someone that plays MMOs and you're also a fan of first-person shooters, I would highly recommend it. If uh, you play... And the hardcore sim. Yeah, military. military anyone sim, playing yes. Arma or Squad, Insurgency. It's not really... Insurgency is kind of like a little bit Trash. less casual. That game's great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Speaking of trash, okay, so my first weekend, I had a lot of gripes about it because, and you guys were like, mm, you just don't get it. I knew you were going to fucking hate it. Okay, my first weekend playing, first weekend, I shit you not, we encountered two hackers, server connection issues left and fucking right. And you guys were saying insurgency was bad. I was like, Jesus Christ, this game is a clunky piece of shit. That was a definitely a bad debut for you on that Yeah, game. that was, Very so bad. you can't really blame me with all that, no. all those problems. But since playing uh, again, I didn't have as much server issues, no hackers. It was much more pleasurable experience. <laughs> so, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, things sh should get better, hopefully, with those servers and the hackers. But we got your Tarkov review, Tyler. You know what I really want from you? I want some ridiculous questions. Okay. So I have Do one. Do you have some? I have one. I have one today. Oh, okay. I had all another right, one, but fine. it was really long. I wrote it down, and I don't have all the fucking uh, the bits and pieces to you gotta it. You got to write it down in the Google Drive. Digital I know. Age, the digital I wrote it age, on a right? physical piece of paper. <laughs> what are you, in the 1940s? <laughs> <laughs> so, right. this is going to be another question from Answer the Internet, Barstool Sports, Answer the Internet, or I think they have another one, Pull the Internet or something like that. Uh -huh. But uh, they're just a group of ridiculous questions. Ask them to your friends, family everybody hilarious questions not to be taken seriously uh and the question is would you never or would you rather never be able to have an orgasm again or feel like you need to take a shit constantly for the rest of your life <laughs> wait hold on what was the question <laughs> the question is would you rather never be able to orgasm again or constantly feel like you need to take a shit for the rest Ooh. of your life Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to imagine taking a shit. Hmm. Happy. <laughs> like, now, what kind of having to take a shit is like a turtle, yeah, like turtle not head? like a fucking, not like, like I need to take a shit right now, but like just constant feeling of like, oh fuck, I probably need to take a dump here pretty fairly soon. Yeah. 
Especially like when you actually have to, you won't know till you know it yeah. gets worse. Yeah. You'll always have that feeling. So when you really need to, <laughs> it's like you won't know. It won't know any yeah. different. All you got to do is uh, loosen up the sphincter muscles, and if you start to feel that prairie dog coming out, <laughs> then you know. <laughs> hmm, that's tough. Take it. Oh, I'll go with the take a shit. Always have to take it. What? I'm always feeling like I have to shit. Yeah. Oh wait, oh wait, but then you can, still, you can still organize. I mean, you can yeah. organize. Organize, yeah, organize. organize and orgasm. <laughs> I can organize my masturbation session. Would that make it harder for you to orgasm though? Because <laughs> you cons- your you're fucking and you feel like you have to take a shit. You're like, oh shit, no, do I have to? Ooh. Or would it make your orgasm better? It might. I mean, if I actually have a turd in there, remember, you take a shit and you come. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, where's that clip? <laughs> Ooh. I, oh, but. Okay, so would it be worth it though? Always having to feel like you gotta take a shit. You mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to do anything. Would you be able to focus on things? Because you yeah. don't always have to be taking a shit. You learn to. Have to, you ever tried to focus on on working or doing something and say, like, <laughs> "It I gotta, is so hard." But I wouldn't be able to do anything. But that's because, like, you know, like I might have to shit my pants if if you realize that it's just the feeling and it's not you don't yeah. actually have to take a shit. You like if it's mild, it. mild feeling, it's yeah. like ah, I could probably focus still. Yeah. No, 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 like be no, a no, fairly no. mild. Feeling. No, you can't adjust the the degree. What's the degree of? Yeah, he of said. Having, yeah, he said, said like, that it's not like, like you have to right now, but you kind of feel like you're gonna need to take a shit pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> like you feel it coming. on. You feel on. it coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or no orgasm. So can you live with no orgasm? What if you really, uh, you really want? Uh, how would you release that? Just fucking fucking someone up. Push <laughs> 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 some shit. How do you release? The urge to orgasm if you can't orgasm. You could last longer though, right? Because you're not going to orgasm. You're not going to orgasm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you Theoretically, can... it lasts a long nice. fucking time. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you can still have sex, but... Like, there's no payoff. There's no payoff. <laughs> but, yeah. Not for you anyway. But I mean... Have you, have you ever like, been so pent up where it's like, fuck, I got to release? No. I released in like yeah, right two now. seconds. That's what I'm saying. You can't jack <laughs> off. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, that's true. I mean, but I can just fuck forever. <laughs> I'll take but that. with no payoff. So the payoff is pleasing a woman. That's true. Oh, well, see, one is not selfish ah, like you, talk, yeah, yeah. Andrew. At, at one point, you have to orgasm, though. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so the, the answer to your question is maybe you have a wet dream, but you you don't know it, so that's your payoff. <laughs> oh yeah, you, maybe. Oh wait, no, but you can't but orgasm. You can't orgasm, so your wet dream isn't but, really a wet yeah, dream. Yeah, you don't. So you don't experience it. So I mean, maybe maybe mm. that's your answer. Do you, these fucking it questions. It would still feel yeah. good while you're fucking. You might not. Like, orgasm, there would be pleasure, but there wouldn't be the or yeah. the like the the best final. Part. Okay, okay. Peak I, of I, pleasure. I, I at can the live end. with that. I can live with that. Remember, we edge. Remember. Okay. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> we don't <laughs> orgasm anyway. But that would still be annoying. <laughs> Bro, right, dude, I'll, I'll we, take, edge. <laughs> <laughs> we edge. <laughs> we edge. Remember. That's a shirt. No, remember, I forgot. We edge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take having to feel like you're taking a shit. Yeah. Wait, you're gonna feel like having to take a shit. So you can yeah. or, still orgasm? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. It's oh. either or. Oh, no, 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 no. No orgasm, no orgasm, no orgasm. Yeah, I would choose the same thing, too. No orgasm? No orgasm, really? yeah. yeah. Because you're right. Yeah, you could still pleasure the woman. You can... It still feels good, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, I mean, it's like you're, you're, you're perpetually edging forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With no pain. Yeah. So, all right, that's fine. But I mean, having to take a shit all the time. Imagine going to the movies imagine, while you're having sex, having to feel like you're going to take a shit. Like, you don't know if you're actually going to have to take a shit. That's like, what I'm worried about. It's like, you yeah. know, well, you might shit yeah. yourself sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know, and you have to. Just go based yeah. off your farts. You know, yeah. it's like, as you have to shit, the closer you get to shitting, the, the worse the your smaller, fart smell. Yeah, that so and like, just <laughs> take a little whiff. I'm good. I got like half an hour. <laughs> Imagine taking a shit and then feeling like you have to take a shit right after you take a shit. <laughs> oh, that'd be so unsatisfying. Ooh. Oh no, but I chose the no orgasm. Okay, so I'll be fine. It'd so, be worse. So if... you're no, you're no orgasm. No orgasm. Okay. Always so, feel like. It. Repeat the question, Tyler. So, would you rather never be able to orgasm again, or feel like you have constantly have to take a shit for the rest of your life? <laughs> um. You know, it'd be worse if, you know, like when you're about to come, you like feel it. It's like building up, building up, and then yeah. you, you come. It would suck if you start to feel that build up, ah. and then you just never 
climb, you know, hit the peak. Yeah. Then that, then that would suck. Cause you're like, oh, oh fuck, you know, like, yeah, that, it's that worse that way. But if you just never feel like Wait a an orgasm coming, then it's fine. Does that mean you'd get blue balls all every time? Um, I didn't dig mm. deep enough into the question. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. wow. Usually Tyler's the one dissecting oh, no. it. Why, Dude. Tyler? Okay. If, if that was the case, if blue balls were a factor in this, then I would feel like having to take a shit all the time because I would have blue balls 24 seven. Yeah. I, I don't think you would. I think you would still jizz. You just wouldn't have that <laughs> pleasure feeling. That's oh. true. Yeah. That's, you know, okay. One's the, the, like the real MVP like over that. here. He's fucking, yeah. It would kind of be relieving because you get that jizz out. You just won't feel the orgasm. Yeah, you just won't yeah. feel it. Okay, I'll mm -hmm. go with that. Yeah. yeah. I like my nice decision. <laughs> yeah, hey, same. Steven, come on, we're waiting. Um, I'm going to be a contrarian here and <laughs> feel like I need to take a shit. <laughs> no, I'm going no orgasm. Okay. This kind of goes along with like the the blind or what was it? The blind one, yeah, yes. Yeah, what was it? Blind, blind, blind or, or dickless? Because like yeah. that blind affects more of your life, you know? Like yeah. having to take a shit all the time is co consistently <laughs> affecting your entire life. So, exactly, like, yeah. yeah. It's in the back of your mind all the time. Always, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. For a little prairie head coming on. <laughs> Be pulling over on my bike every fucking five minutes. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so do we have time for another review or no? We're, we're good. I we're think. Uh, I think. I think we have time oh. for another question. You mean? Do you have another question, Tyler? Um. I oh yeah, you only had one. Do have another question? It's kind of in the same realm, though. I was gonna save it for. I'll fuck it. I'll ask it anyways. <laughs> All right. Teasing you here. All right. <laughs> I just remembered this one right now. So, would you rather... Ha they're all dick questions, by the way, because those are the funniest <laughs> ones. So, would you rather have a dick for a nose or a nose for a dick? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, I got a and big he, nose, so be that, your ass. it'd be a pretty good dick size, too. So. <laughs> You'd be smelling your gooch and your ass. Wait, <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? But the, because your nose would be on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> you're smelling your taint the whole wait, day? Yeah, uh. you smell your taint. That swamp you, ass fuck. But, but what yeah. if you go to wash it, then you're getting water and soap up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think your lungs are going to be down you're, there you're, all of a sudden. Then how does the nose in your dick work? You're, you're, <laughs> hypothetical. You're, you're thinking about this all wrong. What about when you want to go to have sex or like you, 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 get a, you get turned on in public and you have a bar and shit on your nose? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. that's just a public display of that's indecent exposure all the time right there you're going to jail nope not right now face mask and if coronavirus you're, and if you're limp you just got like a dick tapping your lips all day <laughs> Ooh. oh yeah how do you eat you're just like <laughs> like squid uh squid I mean, word, you is that his name little <laughs> squid word Oh, that one's weird. What the fuck? So, it, would you I rather know. have a dick as a nose or a nose as a dick? Yeah. Would you rather your nose be where your dick is or your dick be where your nose is? <laughs> nose where your dick is. I'd feel weird if my nose were where my dick were. But isn't if your if your nose is okay? If your nose is at your where your dick is, or your nose is on your nose? <laughs> no, no, no. So, <laughs> would you rather your dick be? On your face, where your nose is, or so would you? So your nose will already be down here, right? Yeah. So you're swapping, basically. Okay. Yeah. So your your dick is going to be where your nose is, mm -hmm. and your nose is going to be where your dick is. Right. Now the opposite is you swap it. So I'll take the opposite. Yeah, it's <laughs> normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> so so what Juan is asking is if you choose to have so a you have dick two in dicks. your nose, what's going to be where your dick is? Yeah, your nose. Then there's the same. There's, there's the same thing. Same scenario. Yeah. You know what uh, I mean? Because if your dick is where your nose is, debunk. then your oh, nose yeah. is where your dick is. Oh, yeah, And yeah, the yeah, vice yeah. versa. Maybe I'm getting the so, question wrong. So yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. it's you have a dick in your nose and you have a dick too. Or you have a nose two here dicks. and a nose down there. You could be productive with two dicks. You could be. You can be productive with two noses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What so, the fuck? <laughs> what kind of production are you going to get done with two noses? What kind of like a production? fucking perfume company or something, uh, dude. I might, maybe... Maybe there, acts, there might be uh, there might be more uh, levels of this question that I'm uh, I'm I'm not remembering. <laughs> they, they they go See deep though. There's like rules yeah. and shit. Like okay. if you go on the fucking uh, <laughs> forums or whatever, if you listen to people answering these questions, they get pretty deep with the specifics and the rules. So uh, in this case, I would say that then, if you have a, a dick nose, you also have a dick. If you have a uh, <laughs> nose dick, then you have a nose on your face. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, 
<laughs> I, I, I would in that case then i would just choose nose nose yeah me too <laughs> I can at, still least fuck with pub, nose, at least dude. i can go out in public <laughs> but in private it's like fuck i got a nose <laughs> hey some girls are into you that ju- you just squeeze the nostrils to check. <laughs> 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 it's just like <"Achoo!" laughs> I mean you gotta Boogers be careful you gotta, if you got a, uh, a dick for a nose you gotta be careful how you fuck because you might be eating ass too yeah like, <laughs> you gotta go the other way it's gotta be more like a 69 position I know yeah, we're, we're not zoomers we speak for yourself <laughs> no, a 69 position you'd be directly eating ass if you wait no you would be oh, the yeah. opposite normal you would be eating ass oh that's true yeah, yeah if you're 69 it'd be it'd be, it'd be <laughs> your, your mouth would be where the bush is but. yeah that's true yeah, if you're 69 your mouth would be right on the clit that'd be real nice for a girl <laughs> you'd be like a woodpecker there'd be there'd be women fucking they'd be lining up <laughs> yeah, to, you're serious you'd be like fucking you'd, a, you'd, some sort of freak show kind of thing like it'd be like a fucking badge of honor to fuck a, a guy with that uh, fucking dick nose actually is, go ahead is it as sensitive as a penis you know um, i know there's a fetish where like both girls and guys they like to uh like suck on a nose like <laughs> put a whole nose the in their mouth and suck on it yeah what? how do you know about that wow what are you watching uh, Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean if i if it's sensitive as a dick then yeah i, mean, I can still get off suck my nose my lower <laughs> nose, <laughs> <laughs> suck my nose. <laughs> i don't know all right well that, did you an- i answer I would do what a, was your answer nose nose yeah nose wait Okay, so you have a nose down there too. Double nose, yeah. yeah. Okay. Double nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably go double nose, nose too. I ain't trying to have a dick flopping in my face all day. <laughs> and I gotta. I mean, that's it, true. What huh? if you want a headbang? Just I mean, I know. <laughs> <laughs> my nose would be like hanging down past my beard here. Fuck that. <laughs> no one. No one else has, has an answer. I got nose, 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 nose. Right, yeah. Easy. <laughs> all right uh and with that i think that's uh the end of the episode folks what was this number 30 jesus christ that's yes. uh that's an accumulative uh almost 100 maybe i don't know uh, 80 something episodes total 80 something wow yeah. watch where do we get the other ones you'll <laughs> never know oh don't be on that goofy <laughs> shit nigga move that's, nigga uh, our highest tier of patreon if you want to see uh, those yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. A thousand dollars a month. Secret episodes on myonlyfans.com. <laughs> Tyler, take it away. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to yet another episode of Bro Duder. If you enjoyed it, share it out to your friends, family members, everybody. Ask those questions to everybody too. Ask them to your coworkers, friends, family, uh, bosses, everybody. We're on all major streaming platforms, Spotify, Google, iTunes, uh, YouTube, everything. Just look for us, Bro Duder. You'll find us. With that said, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace out.